Somewhere in the mountains, 11.45 p.m. Ah, oh, really, babe? When you said you'd take me for a whirl, I didn't think you meant the tilt a whirl. Besides, this place is a dump. No, ye of little faith. This is more than just a dump. Have you even heard the stories about this place? Uh, no. <laughs> then let me enlighten you. Over a year ago, this theme park tried to capitalize on a real-life murder mystery by building a walk-through horror attraction. I was kidding. I know what happened here. A fire burned down the horror attraction, and then the other ride started mysteriously breaking down. Then some tycoon bought out the park and shut it down. You'd have to be a scrub not to know. Or new in town, whichever. I'm not new in town, so you think I'm a scrub? Harsh. Anyway, they say that the animatronics in the attraction came to life at midnight. And would stuff any poor sap they find into an empty suit. You basically become human hamburger meat. So, for date night, you're gonna make some robots angry and get us shoved through meat grinders. How romantic. Wait, I thought this place had only one animatronic. Everything else was parts and shells. Also, wouldn't it have all gotten torched? Mmm, yeah, but they were able to auction off bits and pieces post-fire, weren't they? For all we know, there could still be stuff here. Hold on, you actually believe this crap? No. It's all ghost stories. I'll talk, no walk. All we gotta do is sit here until midnight and see what happens. If it's a bust, we'll just go back home and brag to all our friends that we spent the night in Fazbear's Fright- <laughs> Do you hear that? Okay. If you're pulling some prank to try and scare me, we are so over. I'm not, though. Nah, where's my flashlight? <laughs> Did you see that? No, you jerkwad. It ran off too fast. Hmm? <laughs> Who's there? What's going on? Why are you asking me? This was all your stupid idea! You're blaming me for this?! You're the one who decided to come with me?! Yeah, cause I didn't think you'd actually get us killed! Okay, let's just calm down. It's probably just some homeless guys in costumes. You think? Uh, yeah, the, the real robots were from, like, the 70s. There's no way they'd still be functional. <laughs> Ow. What flashlights are they using nowadays? It triggers the reset glitch every time. <sighs> Such a pain. Why, buddy, what gives? You nearly blew our cover. Why have they got the good look at you? What? I nearly blew our cover? <laughs> That's rich. At least I was trying to scare them. What were you and Chica doing, trying to give them a hug? Take it easy, both of you. We got them out of the park before midnight. That's what matters. Foxy, what were you and Chica doing so close to them? I thought I told you two to stay back this time. I was, Captain. But it were Chica who were getting too close. I was trying to pull her back. Hmm... Chica? Yeah? Is this true? Yes, Freddy. 
What were you thinking, Chica? You could have screwed everything up. Bunny, shush. Well, I was just... <sighs> Never mind. What is it, Chica? Come on, you can tell us. Well, I was thinking. Maybe it would be nice if we didn't scare them all. You know, have visitors. Just for once. Are you out of your bloomin' mind loss? You know what happens to people here after midnight. It's just that they're outside in the park, though. Calm down. Calm down. Chica, what's brought this on? This place is so dark and empty. It's unbearable. Don't any of you guys miss people? Kids? Those kids had faces riddled with acne, bad makeup, and reeked of B.O. They were about as close to kids as pepperoni is to rubber bacon bits. Come on, guys. Don't you? Mm -hmm. I understand where you're coming from, Chica. I know it's been... hard adjusting to this new life in the past year. But we can't afford the luxury of visitors if this place isn't safe, can we? But the danger is out there, not in here. For once, we're not the reason the place isn't safe. I know it must sound self-centered, but we're not the same now as we were back then. I'm sorry, Chica. I really am. But if we must chase people away to keep them safe, we should. We have enough on our consciences already. And as leader, I have a responsibility to keep not only the humans safe, but us as well. Hmm. <laughs> Bonnie, something you'd like to add? No. This chasing everyone away, we are doing the right thing, right? Hmm. Of course. Have faith, old friend. It will all work out in the end. All right, students. Before you leave for the weekend, I would like to talk with a few of you about your midterm grades. You're not in trouble, but I am less than impressed. So if I call your name, would you kindly remain so that I may speak with you? First, Latifa, then Justin, and Taylor. Then afterward, I would like to speak to Cody Humphrey. After Cody... Ma'am, Cody already left. Dodge that bullet. Your terms were not kind to me. But I don't need another teacher glaring down her nose at me for it. Of course, that only means I'm gonna have to bite it on Monday. Oh well.